from Wow. So yesterday we spent the day riding from Chiang Rai to Khoai Sai in Lao and it took about two hours to cross the border with our bikes because we had to transfer our passport stamps after getting new passports in Thailand because stupid me did not realize that the last three pages of your passport are not for visas and Lao requires a stick-on visa in your passport. I don't know if that's stupid me. I think that's just stupid rules but well, it could be, but whatever. So that took a little while because first they had to figure out what the heck to do with us. I don't think they see many foreigners crossing the tiny little land border between Qiangrong and Khoai Sai that have this issue. But nonetheless, we got it figured out and we're in Lao, our first border crossing of the trip. So today we're taking the slow boat from uh, Khoai Sai, where we are now, to Luang Prabang. However, that's a two-day trip, not one. And uh, apparently the roads in Laos are super, super freaking steep. And there's pretty much no roads that go to Luang Prabang from where we are. So the simplest way to get there was via the boat. And yeah. at about, uh, let's see, 200 uh, kips, it's about 25 bucks for a two-day boat trip. I think that's worth it. Yeah. So we're going to see what the slow boat is like. It's supposed to be beautiful. Everybody says there's beautiful scenery along the Mekong River. So we're going to do something different and take the boat. See how it goes. And take some rest. Yeah. So going down the river in Lao, we uh, passed by tons and tons of burning going on there, burning the mountainsides, burning the fields, burning everything, burning trash. And we got to see lots of beautiful sights covered in smoke. And basically we rode through a smoke screen down the river. Yeah, I mean, you could smell it and you could literally see the ashes and soot falling from the sky into the river. It was getting blown into the boat, like on top of us. It was just disgusting. It was like one of the apocalypse movies. It really was. <laughs> it was crazy. And then at one point, we were actually able to see the fires on the mountainside. Like for a while, we could just see like all the smoke coming up. And then we rode, drove, I don't know what you would call it in a boat, um, past this one point and they were burning super close to the river and we could actually see the fires. It was just crazy. So we had heard that it was the so-called smoky season or burning season in Thailand and Laos, but this was the first time that we were ever really able to see it up close firsthand. And supposedly the reason that they burn is it's just a cheap way of clearing land for farming. And since like literally the entire country of Laos is just mountains, I guess the easiest, fastest way of clearing land to farm the mountain size is just to burn the jungle. And they do this supposedly every year during the end of the dry season, which is in March and April, which is of course the time when we were riding through Southeast Asia. But what can you do? So it was quite unfortunate. There were a lot of what I assume would be super gorgeous views that we rode by and overlooks that we literally couldn't see shit. Yeah, I didn't see anything. It, it was rather sad because I'm sure it was a gorgeous ride down the river. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? So as we rode down the river, the boat would just seemingly randomly stop at these points along the riverbank where you you couldn't see anything. It didn't look to us like there was anything there. And then all of a sudden, 
All these little kids would come like running down from these tiny little trails down to the riverbank to like wave to the boat and they would be greeting the locals who were getting off. So basically the boat was essentially just a bus for the locals that were on it. The us tourists were really the only ones taking it all the way to the Long Prabang. Most of the locals that were on there were just had been to the city to buy goods and were just going home and they all lived in these tiny little ramshackle villages along the riverbanks.